Right, you guys, got another video here for you. Windows Defender is gone. It's disappeared from Windows 10, as you can see here. There's no sign of it, and I'm going to show you basically how you can try to get it back on this version of Windows here. So you can see when I open up Windows 10 security here, we don't have any uh, Windows Defender at all. Now, I'm not sure what's happened. This is normally happening after you've updated or you've upgraded from a previous version of Windows. This can sometimes happen and it can sometimes just disappear. And uh, this is what we're uh, going to have to deal with today. So that's what we're going to be trying to fix today. And I'll show you a bunch of things that you can try to try and resolve this issue. So let's first start off with the first one here. I've got a folder here with some fixes in here, some from Microsoft. And we've also got some commands we can use to try and reinstall uh, the Windows Defender or Windows uh, uh, Security onto Windows 10 here. So first we're gonna to need to remove any sort of restriction. And this is a security uh, protection that we need to temporarily disable. So set dash execution policy space unrestricted, push enter, and it's gonna ask you, do you want to uh, say yes to all or yes or no? I'm gonna say yes to all by typing A inside the uh, command prompt here. So let me go ahead and put A in, and then we can push enter now we need that command and this is going to reinstall windows defender or windows security and what we're going to do here is going to let this run now you may see some red coming up on the screen with some errors that's okay just let it do its thing it does take a bit of time so just be patient and once that's done we can move on to the next step that is now complete now type set dash execution policy space restricted and then we can type a for yes for all and push enter and this will put our restriction back on so that's now done. And now all we need to do now is restart the PC and uh, this will do a couple of updates on the system and hopefully your problem should be resolved. If not, we can try a couple of other things. So I'm just gonna let this restart. And once we get back to the desktop, we can continue uh, trying to fix this issue if you're still having it. So we'll just let this uh, load up to the desktop and then we can go over to Microsoft's website. They do have a little tool here which you can run here. You can see automatically fix Windows security issues. You can download this little tool here from uh, Microsoft's website. I'll leave a link in the video description. You can see it's a CAD file. So what we need to do is open this up and we're gonna run this. And uh, from here, we're gonna go advance, automatically repair our system. So I'm gonna let this run. It does take a fair bit of time, but just be patient. And you should see if there's any issues, it's gonna detect them and try to fix them. So we'll just let that do its thing. And uh, once this is done, we should see enable phishing filter fixed. So that's now fixed our Windows Defender. So now we can go in and type security in the search box. And what we're looking for here is the Windows security icon. And what we can do is we can then right click on this and open up the settings pane. So let me go ahead and select this one here, app settings, right click app settings. And this will take you to this location here. Once we're inside here, we're gonna reset the application. So we're gonna to try to hit the reset button down the bottom here, you should see it reset. And I'm gonna go ahead and reset this. And there we go. And once that's done, we can do it one more time just to make sure. There we go, that's now done. Next, we're gonna to check to see whether all of the services are running for Windows security. So let's go ahead and close this off now. And we can go down to the search box here and type services and we can open up the services pane here and make sure that the actual service is running uh, on this system. So let's go ahead and make sure it's not been disabled because some people do love to tweak their system. And of course, if it's disabled or turned off, it's not going to work. So you can see here, we can go to the security center here. You can see it is running and that's perfectly fine. If yours is not running, you need to start it and get it working by putting automatic in there and get that started up. Now also you can check your registry to make sure all the files are in location. I've already done that and they are in, in this location and by now everything should be working okay. What I'm gonna do first is quickly uh, do a SFC space forward slash scan now and this is gonna check for any sort of integrity on the system files here to make sure everything is working okay so it's going to have to verify these files. You can see it did find some issues with corrupt files. So it's going to try and straighten those out and fix those for us. 
And what we'll need to do now is we're going to do this next command, which is a dism command. And this will hopefully uh, try and resolve the issue if you're still having issues. Now, you don't have to run these if your problem is resolved. But if your problem is still there and you're still having issues, then you may want to uh, go down this path and run these. If you're still not getting any luck after you've done any of this, then it's going to be down to a repair install. That is the only last ditch option that you're going to have. So let me just quickly type this command out here. And this is what it is here. And we're going to let this run. And once this is done, hopefully, once you restart your PC, your Windows Defender should be working. So just follow through the steps one at a time. And once you find that it's working and fixed, you don't need to carry on with the tutorial. You can stop right there. But we're just running right through now because these are the very last steps that you can try if your uh, you know, Windows Defender or Windows Security is not working correctly and it's not, uh, it's not there or it's not visible. So once you've done these, you can restart your PC and get back to the desktop. So let's go ahead and quickly restart the PC one more time. And hopefully that will resolve your issue. If you're still having issues uh, with Windows Security where it's not showing up, then you can download an ISO from Microsoft and mount that ISO on your computer by right clicking and mounting the ISO. And you can run through and do a repair install on your system. Now you'll probably see here that it's gonna save your uh, programs and, and also your data. And uh, you can basically install Windows like this and everything should be okay. But you should always make a backup of your data. And hopefully when you've done all of this and you've restarted your PC, you should go into Windows Security and you can open up Windows Security here, as you can see, and everything should be working properly right now. There we go. And now you should have Windows Security running properly on your computer and everything is installed correctly. That's how it should look, something like this. If you're still not seeing it after this, then you need to do a clean install with your USB flash drive and remove everything, and hopefully that will resolve your problem. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a lovely weekend. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.